are in the news are with Shankaran and India wants to know across the length and the breadth of this country if there is a confusion is hurricane and cyclone the same no or is it different and that is what we're going to decide today I have with me today a jury of experts I'll first introduce this is Pooja Devariga from the weather department and this is Josefa from the Badnam party. Badnam party, Zindabad. Badnam uh, Mr. Party. Josefa, this is not a political rally. I request you to be quiet, right? The next person I have with me is an astrologer, a very well-known face, and this is Baba Bijib. Sabka bhala ho, shuruat humse ho. Okay, so I will begin with my question without wasting any time. Uh, first, my first question goes to Josefa. And the question is, is cyclone and hurricane the same? Cyclone and hurricane, uh, they are two very different things. You know, hurricane, hurry means jaldi mein. And cane means kati. So hurricane matlab jaldi wali kati. I'm totally boggled by this particular explanation. I have never seen any stupid explanation like this. I will start with this particular question and I will take the same question to Baba Abhijit. Baba Abhijit, aapne ye question suna hai. What do you feel is hurricane and cyclone the same? A chakravat or cyclone, what I think it's the moment of energy. The negative energy is going out. It is rotating around you. What you need to do is, we need to remove all that negative energy, take in more of positive energy. Negative. What is this? this is can, can you say this, this again? Totally uh, can you say this again? Can yeah. you say this? I dare you say this. I, I double dare you say this, right? Don't raise your hand, Babaji. The hand is out of the camera. Can you please lower your hand? Uh, Pooja, what do you think is the difference between a hurricane and a cyclone? See, first of all, there are two different things. According to whatever I've studied, cyclone is something that goes in the clockwise direction and hurricane is something that goes in the anti-clockwise direction. Wait a second, I have information. One second, one second. Okay, today we are going to hit by a cyclone. What? No, 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 I'm sorry, it's a hurricane. Today? No, 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 again, a mistake. No, it's tomorrow. Oh, Pooja, stop, stop spreading this particular rumors. I think you're, you're creating a panic. Okay, I think we should take this particular question to the Robomet teacher, who is actually the expert who will tell us. So, let us go to the Robomet teacher. Uh, Selvin Martin, are you there with us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your voice is clear. Your voice okay. Is clear. We would like you to give us an explanation. India wants to know what is the difference between a hurricane and a cyclone. Are they the same? Are they different? Yes, sir. Let us get our things very clear. Let's move on to our screen. So from what I understand, people around the country and the world have different opinions of what cyclones and hurricanes are. But in reality, you should know that cyclones and hurricanes are the same weather phenomenon. Well, the only difference between these storms is that they are given different names in different places. But then again, why do you give them different names? This is done so as to identify where these storms develop. So let us get a better understanding of this. Moving on to the map of the world, in case these storms develop somewhere in the northern Atlantic or the northern Pacific, then these storms are called as hurricanes. And it is the responsibility of the National Hurricane Center in America to issue a forecast regarding hurricanes. But moving more towards Asia, in case these storms develop somewhere in the southern Pacific or the Indian Ocean, then these storms are called as cyclones. And it is the responsibility of the Indian Meteorological Department to issue warning regarding cyclones. Now to get an understanding of what these storms actually are, these are a system of very large air masses which are rotating around a very low pressure center called as the eye of the storm. But where do these storms actually get their tremendous energy from? How do they actually develop? Well, these storms get their tremendous energy from the warm seawater. That's what I said. It's all about energy. Negative, positive. Negative, positive. Negative, positive. Well, Baba, let me tell you, this is simple physics. Now, what happens is that the warm seawater causes the air above it to heat up. Now, this hot air obviously moves upwards, causing the cold air above it to move outwards. Now, this cyclic movement of air is what leads to very strong winds which develop. Now, keep in mind these winds can reach speeds of greater than 100 kilometers per hour. 
Now you should know students, these winds are very destructive. So Selvin sir, I told you that cyclones are clockwise and hurricanes anti-clockwise. Can you explain me that in detail? Can you sir? Now we know that the earth can be split up into two hemispheres, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Now let us say we have a storm developing somewhere in the Indian Ocean. Now in case the storm develops in the southern hemisphere just below the equator, then this storm is going to have a clockwise rotation. But on the other hand, in case this storm develops just above the equator in the northern hemisphere, then this storm is now going to have a counterclockwise rotation. Well, this was all about cyclones and hurricanes. So I hope we now understand that cyclones and hurricanes are the same thing. Back to you. So now it is crystal clear what is hurricane and what is cyclone. Badnam party, Zindabad. Badnam party, Zindabad. Keep quiet. So this news hour comes to an end and we'll meet again with a discussion on some other topic. Thank you.